Okay, so I just got out of service and I have this unction. I've been told over and over time that I need to share my story. Everyone has a story, a survivor story. And my story has been something that I've held cherished and nearly just near and dear to my heart for a very long time. But I was supposed to share my story a long time ago and life happened. Well, today after service, Again, I was instructed, okay, you need to share your story, and my response was, well, I don't really have a platform to share it on, and who would really listen anyways? I don't have many followers or subscribers, and that's okay. I'm okay with that, because that's not my desires. That's not my goal to have subscribers or followers. My goal is to share my story, to help someone, and to encourage them. Well, today, um, on my way home from service, the song that actually impacted my life more than anyone would know um, came on as I was being told okay you need to share your story again and I just smiled and my daughter who's in the car was like what mom why are you smiling and I said don't worry like I'll share eventually and you'll know why because I just smiled and I just knew like he's so good like God is so good and he's brought me through more than anyone would ever know and eventually I'll share all of that stuff but one thing I do know is that no one could ever 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 tell me that God's not real no one could ever tell me that he didn't create all of this because of what I've experienced and what I've gone through and what he has pulled me out of is living proof for me and and that's okay if it's just for me and, and that's what it's meant to be and and I'll share it but you don't have to believe. You don't, I'm not telling you that, that that is what you have to believe. I just know what he's done for me. And I know the only way is through Christ. And the only way to have freedom and restoration and hope and joy is, is God, is from him. And so a little bit of background about me is before my survival story ever happened, I, I hated God. If there was a God, I hated him because of what I went through as a child. I went through years and years of molestation. I went through years and years of watching my mom get beat up or stick a needle in her arm. I went through abandonment. I went through isolation and feeling unloved and unwanted because I didn't have that home. My mom and my dad didn't want me. My dad in and out of prison. My mom constantly on drugs. And then, of course, I was dealing with the molestation. Well, I grow up and I have all these false ideals of what love actually is. And I feel that I have to do in order to receive love. And I just finally got to the point in my life where if anyone would talk to me about this amazing God and how good he was, I'd get angry. And I would tell them, if, how can God let these horrible things happen to us? And if God loved me, where was he when I had to protect my little brothers from the man that was beating my mom to death? Or where was he when I had to take care of my little brother for three days because our parents were so high out of their mind and yet I'm only four and my brother is only one and a half but God was there and I know he was there but at the time before I met him and, and I before I shared my survival story I hated him and I never understood how people can sit there and, and raise their hands towards God and talk about how good he is and talk about you know what he's done for them and yet I'm living in hell so there's many things and many factors that happened before this moment this pivotal moment in my life I woke up one day and I just decided that I didn't want to live anymore and at the time my oldest daughter was probably four and I was separated from my marriage um, some adultery had happened and I, I had nobody and these voices in my head just kept telling me that there is no way out there's no there's no other way out you're never gonna escape this darkness you're never gonna get freed from all these thoughts of not being enough not being wanted no one loves you you're not enough your world is dark and the only way to get rid of this is if you end your life and and on top of that kelly guess what your daughter deserves a better mom and you you're never gonna be good enough for her because you're just like your mom 
and I remembered all the, the flashbacks of me having to clean up my own mother's blood from her trying to commit suicide years and years and years and having to go see her in the hospital on life support and having them pump her stomach and I just remember all these thoughts and, and it was overwhelming and it was just I had to escape. I had no escape to get away from these thoughts and so I woke up and I was like okay I know this is the only way to end it so I didn't tell anybody because guess what I still didn't want to be like my mom but I didn't want anyone to stop me because I knew what I was gonna do and so I guess what in my mind what I what I thought and what I told myself is how I'm being different from my mom is that I'm not gonna tell anybody because I'm not doing this for attention I'm my intentions are truly to end my life and I need to do it without being stopped so I dropped my daughter off at her grandma's house with her dad we're separated and I tell her how much I love her and, and don't ever let anybody tell her that any different that she she's my world and and I did the best that I could by her and see now I think back and I was like wow like that was so selfish thinking but at that moment in that very moment I didn't have that rationalization in my mind I didn't have the love that I have in my heart now I didn't have any hope I had nothing but despair loneliness anger and and hurt just lots of pain for dealing with 21 years of just disappointment and living in hell I didn't know any better so to me that was the only logical way out so I go to the levee because how I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna drive my car off on the levee I have my windows rolled up my it was hot it was really hot that day the air I remember just sweating and my air conditioner didn't work I just had the radio on and for some reason this station K Love was playing and I have no idea why it was playing because mind you I hated God if there was a God at that point I hated him because of what I've lived and I just remember sitting on that levee and my my foot was on the brake and I remember thinking like this is it like I'm finally gonna get set free from all these this torment that's going on in my head I'm gonna get delivered and and I and and delivered I mean not in a sense of God deliver me but delivered for myself because I couldn't take it anymore like the pain it was just so overwhelming well I'm sitting on the levee and I told you Caleb was on and I don't know why because I didn't listen to Caleb I listened to nothing but mainstream and this this song is on and before you know it it was like my the radio turned up and I'll never forget like for the first time ever like I felt I, I actually listened to what the song was singing and it was 10th Avenue North by your side and it was like I heard I heard like a loud voice like why why are you striving why why are you crying I'm by your side I've never left you and I'm just thinking like who, what is this and I was like this is nonsense and so I, I go to take my foot off my brake and I can't like my foot stuck I can't move my foot and then like all of a sudden there's like a, a wind in my in my car and every hair on my body stood up and again like I hear these lyrics in my head like why are you crying why are you striving like I'm by your side I've never left you and all of a sudden I hear this small still voice tell me go home just go home Kelly and it was so peaceful it was so it was so calm it was so gentle and for whatever reason once I made that decision in my mind that okay I'm gonna go home I'm not gonna do this my foot I could move my foot again and I took my foot off the brake and I drove off of the levee and I went home mind you before this day I hadn't slept in two days I went home I was living in a duplex and I I, I, I laid my head in my bed and I slept for the first time in two days I had peaceful sleep I didn't wake up I didn't have no more nightmares and when I woke up I had joy and hope for the first time ever in my 21 years of life. 
and for the first time ever i i knew that there was a god and he cared enough to stop me from ending my life and i knew that there was something more and i there was i i was worth more than what i had been telling myself or what i've been told and that was the the changing point of my life that's my survival story so and mind you before this i want everyone to know that i hated god if there was a god i want i want to be clear about that i didn't believe in god before that moment but because he is so sober and he is so good and everyone matters to him he felt that i was worth worth the time for him to stop me from making that horrible mistake and now four years later in my walk i understand that there was someone out there praying for me and someone who didn't even know me was out there praying and interceding for me so i didn't take my life and that's why i wanted to tell you guys that if you are struggling with that or if or if you're an intercessor i wanted to thank you because without you guys I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't be able to share my story and to encourage somebody out there this is for someone because he made it clear that he wants me to share it and so I'm sharing it and I just I wanted you guys to know that it's it's never too late don't listen to those voices in your head they're they're it's the enemy and he's he's a liar he just wants to destroy you and destroy god's people and if any of you need prayer please let me know and i'd be happy to pray for you because someone prayed for me when i was at my lowest but that's my survivor story and a couple of weeks later i found a church and i was saved got born again and here i am life isn't perfect (laughs) let me tell you just just because you get saved it doesn't mean that you are free from struggles and trials anymore that's not the case at all however the case and the truth is is that you have a savior who loves you and who's who's there and your hope is anchored in him because he overcame the world and there's nothing or nobody no scientific data there's nothing that can take that away from you once you have that jesus moment no one could take it away you are his forever so i hope that you're encouraged again if you need prayer let me know you guys have a blessed day